Previously on Drake Paragon. Hopefully we're gonna have no winds. I think everybody was feeling a little queasy. We had wind straight on the nose. That plate just gave out. It feels so good to finally have turned the engine off. We we're sailing along at seven knots. Oh yeah, yeah, this is going great. Couldn't be going better. Wow. That was, because this was riveted on here. On the yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Well, it lasted, but uh, apparently we don't know how to play a whisker pole correctly because we broke it in two. Just snapped right in front of my eyes. We furled the jib. Now we'll go assess the damage. Damn it. I guess there was too much wind. Or, I don't know. Fuck. We still have this bit as well, so at least we have some of that so that we can still set up a pole. We just need to even repair that. We can put this and slide it back into this one, and essentially we have a shorter pole, so it's shorter by that much. Of it. At least we have a pole. At least this happened during the day. So we're just repairing the uh, whisker pole at the moment. We have a cut and we're drilling some holes for the spring part. <laughs> okay, you have this spring, you have this springy thing. Schneller! <laughs> Give me the springy thing. There's the two black bits and the springy thing. Be careful. Well, at least we got a nice smooth sailing condition for doing this. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you're right. We do. It's an awesome. <laughs> no, because it could be raining and it could be really windy and it could be quite nasty. We are amazing! <laughs> awesome. That's really cool. Alright. So now the rings. I still don't quite get this. If we put this on that and slide it to the end and then put it in the pole and then we try to rivet it, yeah. then we're going to have to drill through this. But we can't drill through that because Otherwise, it won't slide. <laughs> yeah! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so, I think we need to rivet this on to that and then slide the pole in, and somehow, miraculously, the rivets aren't going to be in the way. You try and rivet this on first, yeah? Yeah, yeah. It's so much shorter now, it's so much better. <laughs> it's so much easier to handle. This isn't a jury rig, this is an improvement. This is a judge rig, it's not a jury. <laughs> Don't cut yourself. I love getting cuts at sea. Nothing like watching infection. This guy in here, yeah? That's fine, that's on that. Yeah, yeah. This guy is on here, yeah? Yeah, yeah? Well, yeah, but I mean, forget about him for now. Just show me what happens when we put the thing. And can we rivet that there? Not without, not without putting the rivet through both pieces of pipe. Do we have a smaller rivet? How was, because this was riveted on here. And yeah, was... I know, I know. <laughs> the thing is, we can't put the rivets in without putting it through both pieces of pipe, if one's inside the other. Like I'm flummoxed, so I don't understand how that would work. I actually think that they must have slid the pole in from the other end. I don't understand how they got this piece of hardware on the end there, like what holds it on to the end of the pipe. There's no, there are no rivets, there's no, is it screwed on? Rivets are in the way. They're too big. I'm just going to assemble it without rivets and stow it, just because just because darkness is coming. So what do you got there? Ah, uh, tonight we're having sloppy joes for dinner. Sweet. You've never had sloppy joes before. Nope. So that's pretty exciting. This is the trip of many firsts. <laughs> Gonna have to set the next waypoint soon. Mm -hmm. So you have the GPS here set to UCC. Yeah, and the, and the one in the cockpit set to ship's local time, and we're doing our logbook entries with ship's local time. But I need something that that's paying attention to UTC time because all of the weather facts broadcasts are scheduled by UTC. Mm -hmm. Hamburger, onion, brown, black pepper. I wonder if we should put a reef in. Yeah. I'm having flashbacks of sailing into darkness with very nice conditions and nothing in the weather forecast for anything worse and then getting hit by a squall at three in the morning and having a have a scramble up there and put a reef in. I like to do as little as necessary on deck at night. I don't like going out at night. What we're experiencing right now is just as was forecast, winds out of the south at about 15, 
This is the frame for 2100. It's now 2115, so that looks right. Stepping forward, much of the same. Zero 03 UTC out of the southwest. Oh, that's. We've got the main out on the port side, don't we? And our direction is pretty much north. We're going to have to jibe. Yeah, that's too much out of the southwest. 0600 tomorrow, 15 knots out of the southwest. And by 12 o'clock the UTC tomorrow, it'll switch to the north, north, northwest. But then go really light, and then go down to nothing by Tuesday. Wednesday we have it out of the north again, stronger this time. By Thursday it comes back out of the south and stays out of the south for a while. About six hours, we will be out of the southwest and potentially stronger. So yeah, I'd say not not only put a reef in, but also drive. You put a reef in before, right? Yeah. yeah. I think on this downwind point of sale should be doable. Mm -hmm. This is Craig's homemade barbecue sauce. We met Craig in St. John's. He's one of the nicest people that we met there. He gave us some of his homemade barbecue sauce. And it is going into tonight's Sloppy Joe's. Mm. I'm sure it will be great. Thank you, Craig. I really hope our paths cross again someday. to the winds on the nose starting up to Monday. I'm so glad we're here, man. Oh. I'm really glad we got the saltwater washdown hose here in the cockpit. Mm -hmm. So like you can take your dishes and just spray them all, spray them all down. And then really easy to clean and fresh water rinse. Seven knots. Wow. We're flying. Yeah. What are you putting with the Sloppy Joes? Here we've got wheat buns. And they're better toasted, but we don't really have the electricity to spare for that. I don't have a stove top toaster, so. And on top of the Wheat buns, I am putting lettuce. Very tasty. Do you ever make chili con carne? Uh, yeah. It looks pretty similar. Uh, it tastes different though. Tastes different. Mo, you, you want to eat in bed? Mo? Ta da! Ooh. Nice and hot. Tasty dinner. Don't tasty get it all over the bed, please. Yum, yum, yum. So Nina's gonna put the first reef in. We're going it's pretty much dead downwind. As Anna cranks on that winch, it's pulling that line, which goes to that block, which goes up to that hole in the sail. And he brings the forward part down by hand. Grabbing a line that's attached to that eye on the aft end of the mast. 
putting it through a hole in the forward end of the sail. And he's attaching the other end of the line to a cleat at the base of the mast. Burr, it's cold, man. Yeah. It's not too cold when you're when you're working, you know. <laughs> I think that's good. Yeah. So we're just after putting in a jibe and resetting the preventer. And uh, Drake is currently uh, getting us back on course. It's hard to go that close dead downwind. Holy shit, that's a nice burger. 